and Jennifer would like to dedicate this ceremony to their parents, Walter Kessel and Norma Kessel, and Steve and Cindy Rusconi. They thank you for all you have taught them, their values, how to laugh, love, and appreciate all that life has to offer. And most of all, for your unending support and love. Since that first date on October 20th, 2014, by the river in Newport, they jumped right into each other's arms and hearts. Jennifer was so shocked, speechless, that Danny had to ask her if her excitement meant yes. Of course it did, as we are here today to witness their union as husband and wife. Jennifer, do you take Daniel to be your husband to love, honor, and cherish now and forevermore? I do. Jennifer to be your wife, to love, honor, and cherish now and forevermore? I do. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not poke. It is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does, does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And now faith, hope, and love abide. But the greatest of these is love. Love is like a friendship caught on fire. In the beginning, a flame, very pretty, often hot and fierce, but still only light and glittery. As love grows older, our hearts mature and our love becomes as cold, deep burning and unquenchable. adventures together. A few that stick out are the time we took Norma's car to Miami and never made it, <laughs> and the time we went to Vegas with a group of her friends and made lots of memories we can't talk about. And it's not because they're incriminating, they're just really embarrassing. Or the time she fell halfway down the hill at Perfect North and cried on the slope, not because she was hurt, but just because she was frustrated. And like any friend would do, I was right there next to her laughing. In the years since she and Danny have been together, Jennifer has brought her sense of adventure to their relationship as well. Danny's been the calm to her crazy, and now he's the one by her side for all the shenanigans. They've rode mopeds in Hawaii, ridden on a gondola in Italy, broken bones Mexico and even brought their entire wedding to Anna Maria Island. And 
perhaps the strongest indicator that Danny's the one for Jennifer isn't her love of his sense of humor or how caring he is, but the relationship he's built with her cat, Joey. I've seen them cuddling and singing Christmas songs together. <laughs> and it's really sweet. I didn't think that cat liked anyone. And so, on this special day for your future, I wish you guys lots of continued love, travel, and adventures. Congratulations, friends. We love you. And cheers. Danny, I've, uh, you know, I've known you all my life. You're like a brother to me. Back in the day when we were little, I always had fun. You know, every time we watched a, a TV show or something like that, we'd, we'd watch Red and go outside and get on our BMX bikes. Danny hurt himself quite a few times doing that. Blowed, uh, blew a knee out or two, but uh, today he can, he can walk and uh, was able to walk down the aisle today with, with Jen and uh, make this all possible. I'm, I'm happy for you guys. I can't wait for you to have kids and you know, with the way that you treat my kids, it really shows what he has to, has to offer to his own kids when, when you guys finally have them. And, uh, I can't wait for that. Raise your glasses once again and uh, cheers to the bride and groom.